What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're looking at how to round to the nearest whole number. Let's go. Okay, so we're looking at these four numbers here and we're going to try and round them to the nearest whole number. We can see that all of these numbers have numbers after the decimal point. And we're going to follow a set of steps today. You can see at the top here I have underlined the ones. Then we're going to look next door and then we're going to round up or leave. So what do I mean by that? Well, if we're rounding to the nearest whole number, the nearest whole number will always be in the ones column. And the ones column is the number next to the decimal point, to the left of the decimal. So my first step said underline the number in the ones column. And then I'm simply going to look next door, and I'm always going to look to the right, and I'm going to use this number, in this case of four, to influence whether I round this number up or if I keep it at the same number. And how do we know how to do that? Well, we have a system. If that number next door is a five, a six, seven, eight, or nine, we always round up. However, if it's a four, three, two, or one, we always keep it at the number it is. So nine, eight, seven, six, five, we round up. Four, three, two, one, we round down. Five or more, let it soar. Four or less, let it rest. Okay, so using this knowledge, let's see what we're gonna do to this four that's next to our three. Well, the four is here. And remember, one, two, three, four, four or less, let it rest. So we would end up leaving the three as a three. We would not round it up to a four. So the number would be three. Okay, number two looks a little bit more difficult because there's extra digits after our decimal place. But remember, that's not going to impact us or influence our decisions at all. We're just going to follow the same steps that we did before. So, underline our ones value and look next door. And we have a zero. And a zero would also be considered a number that we let it rest on. So even though it's got a nine next to our zero, that doesn't influence us because we only look next door to the one digit next door to the right. So looking at my zero, what am I gonna do? That's right, I'm gonna let it rest. So 2.091 becomes just the number two. Okay, number three, and I've used one here with the pound sign because this is a very common question that you're gonna get. How do we round these pence up to the nearest pound? So this says four pounds 75, and a question typical in a SATS exam, for example, would say, round this to the nearest pound. So, same thing, our nearest pound would be here in our ones column, and all I'm gonna do is look next door, and we have a seven. Where is seven on our list? It's here, and remember the phrase, five or more, let it soar, four or less, let it rest. We're gonna soar this four up to a five. So my answer to question three would be five pounds. Okay, question four, 0 0.97. Again, looks a bit more tricky because we have the zero here, my confusers, but don't let it confuse you. Just simply follow the steps that we're learning. First things first, underline the ones. Look next door, we have a nine. Circle our nine, here it is. Five or more, let it soar. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna soar my zero up to a one. So my answer is one. And there we go, it's as simple as that. Things to remember, First, underline the number in the ones column. If we're rounding to the nearest whole number, the nearest whole number will be the one in the ones column. Then we're gonna look next door to decide if we're gonna let it soar or let it rest. And then we just simply write the new whole number. Okay, here we go. Four questions for you to have a go at. See if you can round these numbers to the nearest whole number. Put your four answers in the comment section. And there we have it, guys. That is rounding to the nearest whole number. Simple, right? Just follow the steps and you're gonna be sweet. For now, thank you very much for watching. For now, peace out.